Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. This video, I'm gonna show you all about a new trail camera that I've been testing. I've had it out for almost a month now. It's called the Stealth Cam Revolver Pro 360. It is literally a 360 degree camera that is triggered and then does this. Whoop! It will make more sense here in a second when I show you the camera. And then I'm gonna show you some of my favorite pictures. I don't know, should I show you the big bucks or not? Hmm. Neighbors might be watching this video. Uh, so probably won't. Anyways, oh, there were no big bucks. In case the neighbors are watching. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, really cool camera. It really does. It gets triggered and then has a lens that does 360. And then in the app, you can slide it. And it literally shows you the 360 picture. Super cool. What these people come up with, I would have never thought that we'd have that technology. Um, but yeah, now we got the technology where you can have it all the way around. You always have the thought, well, did the deer walk behind my tree? You know, typically you put your camera on a tree and it only sees what's right in front of it. Now, if that camera's triggered, it takes a picture all the way around and it's super cool. Check it out. I videoed some when I put it up in the woods and then I'm going to show you in the app all the stuff and show you how it works. Check this out. And I'm gonna whisper cause I'm in the woods and I don't like being loud in the woods, but you see, I, I decided to cut a tree off there. Oh, that's about four feet high. But there's a little bit of a grade going up. So I kind of split the difference between the able to be in see that way and see this way downhill. And then I got this solar panel on there. That's facing south-ish into the side there now we just got to turn it on see right there there's a little camera lens so that actually spins in through that all the way around all right so real quick i'm going to show you the app on my phone right here i'm going to have it screen recording just to kind of walk you through it and show you how it works uh it's pretty cool so the command pro app i've got the revolver pro camera selected and i'm just going to show you uh how some of it works so Hold on. I gotta set my filter. I thought I already filtered it. I saved some here uh, to walk you through. There we go. So, favorite, starred, and the Revolver Pro camera. So, here you go. You can see right here there's a slider. So there's a doe and a fawn. And so one of the problems is if a deer triggers it right, and there's another deer off to the left or off to the right, you would never know that those deer are there. It could have small one triggered it and you only got a view, like I said, right in front of the camera. You can't see the sides or the back. Well, a lot of times the deer travel together, right? What about the deer after it or before? So this gives you that panoramic view. So I'm, I'm moving the slider here. It shows you that little target. And that says, hey, this is why it was triggered because of right here. And uh, if it'll let me click it also, I can click this up in the top right. And it'll highlight why it was triggered and show you. It'll recognize the critters. How cool is that? And you can see you can slide it all the way around. Right there, it's kind of hard to see, but I've got salt blocks down there. And let's just... Continue. Slide to the next picture. Same thing. It says, here's a deer. That's why it was triggered. Some advice. If you're putting one of these up, see how right here to the left I have several low-hanging branches? I'm going to cut those down because birds and squirrels like to land in those branches a lot and trigger this thing, and I get too many pictures than I should. I don't care about the squirrels and the birds, but you can see here, you can see all the way around that camera. And it's awesome. So here it says it was triggered here. Look, we got turkeys and it's it's showing it because I have that selected. It's like there's one up behind it too. This is the exact same view. And then boom, ta-da. If I had a camera that only showed this view right here, I said, well, there's one or two turkeys. But because we have the 360, boom, there's another turkey. So I, I really don't need to ramble on about it. And there's a bunch of turkeys there. I'm going to take this uh, click off thing. But it was triggered there. Look at that long beard. If I had a camera facing this way, okay, there's some turkeys. I wouldn't have got a picture of that long beard. See what I'm saying? Uh, but let's see if we can 
fast forward to some nighttime ones. There's some turkeys coming down the path there. You can get the gist. I really don't need to ramble on about this, how awesome this is. Uh, and this is sending this all to my phone. There's a mama deer. Also, you can download these in HD. So this isn't the the best quality that it is. It's, it can send a lot more to your phone if you have it set not at the maximum quality. So, um, and doesn't fill up the SD cards as much. But you can see the button right there on the, on the bottom. HD photo download and also on demand. So the on demand feature, you say, I wanted to take a picture right now. You can hit that on demand and then boop, it'll take a picture. Just because you told it to on your phone. Pretty awesome, pretty sweet that we have this technology. But you can see here, is there any more deer? Or is it just those two? Had some rain that day. Here, again, it can recognize the critters. But, oh, wait, there's more deer over here that we wouldn't have known about. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, six deer that we got a picture of. And if we had a camera facing each one of those ways, we probably would have only got a picture of one or two of them. Uh, there's a doe right in front of it. And look at that. Look at all those deer off to the side of it. Uh, let me run you through a couple more. There's a deer there. Oh, we got a buck. What? Not bad. Little eight pointer there. That looks like a pretty good eight pointer there. Mm -hmm. Problem with getting too. Ooh, look at that. The problem with getting too many pictures with those squirrels and birds is I end up not looking at all the pictures and seeing everything. But here's one I wanted to get to something in the dark because this has this. I forget the official term, but it's color-wise technology where in the dark you press this button on the bottom and it kind of, boop, brings to life with some color the pictures. Um, some of those it works better than others, but in the pitch black, oh, there's there's some bucks there too. What? Um, but this is really awesome because this is at a place that takes me quite a bit of a drive to get to. And I don't have to fool with it or worry about it. I got the 360 camera there. This is actually a place in the woods where I planted clover and stuff after I cut some trees down. The deer have eaten up a bunch of the stuff, but they still come through here uh, nibbling on stuff. You can see how the, the ground there is just a bunch of dirt for the most part now. But I also have salt blocks out there that they're coming to for the summertime. But I'm going to quit rambling on because I think you guys kind of get the gist of this. The touch of your finger, see them down there, the slide of your finger, 360 degree panoramic view, there's a little buck there too, uh, that gets you more pictures than you would have. I mean, back in the day, if you wanted that type of view, you'd have, have like three or four cameras, one on this side of the tree, one on that side, one on this side, one on that side, but this is the, the Stealth Cam Revolver Pro 360. It's been out for a little bit, uh, but I've just now. Woo! No, we got to cut that part out. That buck's too big to show on TV. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, but just to show you guys, and I got to show you my puppy dog too. This dog comes with me everywhere. This is Bruce. <clears throat> Bruce is about to turn two years old at Christmas, and he is the man. He's a full blood basset. Bruce, you say hi. And he's a big baby. I'm training him to pretty much be a couch potato and just be my main dude and go with me everywhere. But, <clears throat> appreciate y'all watching. If you haven't seen that camera yet or hadn't heard about it, it's pretty cool. Uh, I just showed you pretty much uh, the coolest bits about it, but it's awesome technology. With the slide of your finger, you can get that 360 degree view. Like I said, I've been using it for a month. Haven't had any problems with it. I've got that uh, solar panel on it, so I don't have to go out and check it as much. And yeah, it works great. Appreciate y'all. Let me know what you think about it. Have you tried it? See you guys in the next one. Hoo hoo.